Well, Matt, that's uh, another big win for you guys, 3-1. And, uh, and and I think I see you guys really picking up and progressing, and that's a key thing at an event like this. Yeah, we're, uh, we're gaining confidence, and we're getting a handle on the rocks and the ice. And it's, uh, it's going to hopefully progress throughout the week. We're just trying to keep the week going and we got a big day tomorrow we're playing Manitoba and then we have to finish off with Saskatchewan so hopefully we can pull off two wins and get into the next round. What lessons did you guys take away from the trials experience that you guys are, are putting into into practice here? Uh, it's a long week um, and there's a lot of pressure and just don't get down on yourselves and just keep being positive and we've practiced hard and trained hard for this so just don't let anything else get in the way. You guys worked so hard to get here over the past few seasons and uh, and I, I don't know that people can understand the sense of relief that must have been evident throughout the team when you guys finally uh, won Ontario. G give me a sense of what that was like. Uh, yeah, it was, we didn't really experience the excitement. It was just the pressure off the shoulders. It was that, that one thing you always dream about doing is making the briar and uh, the boys really felt it and I could just see it. There were just excitement came later on as we were celebrating it all and uh, just the relief was huge. So three and one, but uh, still work to do. Still lots of work. Long week. Tanner, you're living the dream here, man. Uh, just talk about uh, having a chance to throw rocks in the Tim Hortons briar. Oh, it's been great. Uh, the guys have been super fun to be around, and uh, they've been really nice to, to get me out there a few times, and, and so I'm really appreciative of that. And yeah, it's it's a, a dream come true, really. Yeah. Obviously, you had a, a tough few weeks there, right? Losing the uh, New Holland Canadian Juniors final and getting so close to winning Northern Ontario. When, when Brad or who was it that actually asked you? Was it? Yeah, it was. It, it was Brad. So yeah. when Brad asks you to come to the Briar as as the alternate, what what does that mean to you? Uh, it's uh, it's a great opportunity. Um, you know, obviously, would have liked to be here as a skip, but you know, if someone told me two months ago that I was going to be a part of the Briar in, in some way, I would have been super happy. So, so why not now, right? I mean, you got to have that perspective, and so I'm super excited to be here. What is what is uh, you know having a team like Brad and, and those guys and EJ and Ryan and Ryan? What has that done for Northern, Northern Ontario Junior Curling? I mean, it's pretty obvious that uh, you guys, uh, your junior team, has styled itself a little bit along their lines. Uh, what have they meant to you guys as as juniors? Uh, I, I remember just watching them. I, I, we went to our we went to our first Junior Nationals back in 2014. So it was about a month or two right after they they won the trials. And I remember thinking at the time, like this is this is so great for our province and. Uh, I just wanted to to model myself kind of like that and and be like that and and uh, and represent the province well. Right. Now that you've uh, obviously you, you you know them, you've curled against them. Now that you're kind of on the inside of Team Jacobs, have you gained a new appreciation for what makes them tick? Oh yeah, for sure. Um, I could not believe all that goes into it. Um, I think honestly, I, I think. I, I, I didn't realize how much went on behind the scenes and how and how uh, how much they do behind the scenes. How much Caleb does for them is just amazing. Um, yeah, it's great to see. All right. And I imagine that's something you'll. This is stuff you'll take away from this year and put it into practice. Uh, you got one more year junior. I'm sure there will be some lessons taken into your junior team for next year. Yeah, definitely. I I, uh, I spent about a week in the Sioux um, visiting my girlfriend, and so I got a chance to practice with the guys for about a week there. And uh, I learned a lot in practice with them and stuff. So there's, yeah, there's tons of things I can I can bring to our team now and, and put into practice. Uh, nice win. What about the hat? Got to change it up a little bit. I'm not going to wear a hat for every day for the rest of my life on the ice. So I don't know. It was probably one of my better games. So the guys said I, I'm a little more aerodynamic this game. <laughs> so what, who made the decision? I did. And they were a little surprised. I just said, ah, whatever. When and when did all this play out? Well, I tried to. I, Kept trying to compete with Colin for the nicest hair, and it wasn't working. So, <laughs> and uh, did you feel freed out there? Like, was it kind yeah, of a, a little cool on the head, though? That's the thing is, I might have to wear like one of those like real thin toques. Nice. And uh, okay, let's talk about the win. Uh, were you happy with the way the guys played? Yeah, you know what? We uh, we had a pretty solid game. You know, I had a chance in the eighth end to finish the game right there. It was a shot for four or five. So. 
uh, overall, I felt like we had pretty good control. You know, they started off with the hammer and we battled back, made it a goal for us to have, uh, you know, the hammer tied up at halftime. And, you know, for us, we were up one with the hammer. So we accomplished uh, our goals that we set out for ourselves. And last question, will the hat be a game time decision? It will be a game time decision for sure. <laughs> Matt, you've had some moments in your career winning the Canadian Juniors at Fort Mac, uh, big shots, but I imagine that's going to stand out for an awful long time. That was one of the coolest, uh, no doubt. I mean, uh, to, have the, to have the crowd... Uh, crowd behind me on that one and the guys uh, swept a great at the end I mean it uh, took a while to get over there but I mean uh, great game by the guys I mean I didn't I didn't play my best but uh, they, they kept us in there and luckily I had a shot at the end as you were watching that last shot what were your thoughts as it's going down the ice and seeming to hang out there awfully straight start curling baby please curl <laughs> that's all I could think and uh, luckily the weight was close enough to catch that late curl Right, and what does that do for the confidence? What does it do between the brains as much as it, between the ears as much as it does in the standings? Yeah, I mean, uh, uh, huge. I mean, just to know I can, I can, we, or we can make those uh, kind of shots in that kind of situation uh, in front of crowd. Uh, I mean, I, I think it's only only good for us moving forward if we're in that same situation. And imagine the guys were right there behind you all through that as you had some struggles. They were there for you. Totally, and and, and they're, they're I'm sure their percentages show that they played they played a really good game today. Uh, kept us in it. Uh, I, I I missed. A lot more than I wanted to, obviously. Um, but I mean, uh, we'll take a win any way we can, and hopefully, I can uh, be a little better for the guys.